Hey, what is up, everyone? It is Dimension here, back at it with some more Samurai Champloo. I think this is the finale, guys. We're on the final three episodes until we finally end Samurai Champloo on the channel. I gotta say, it's been quite a ride. I've loved every single episode I've seen so far. Some of them have been kind of like out of there, like the last two, but I still enjoyed them thoroughly, and I enjoyed this show so much. The characters, the environment, the entire just story overall was just beautiful to watch, so... I'm ready to end it, so uh, without further ado, let's, uh, let's watch the final three episodes. I'm going to miss this intro so much. I love it. Oh, they, these are the guys that hired the the assassin on Mugen and the crew. Sarah, yeah, they're the ones that hired Sarah. Do me a favor. Allow me to show you some of the flowers in my garden. There's no time for that. Understand? Good. If you uproot the weeds and you disturb the flower, its roots and soil don't like to be interfered with. So, what do you do? You learn to plant flowers that utilize the weeds as a form of nourishment. I've been told that Sarah was killed. Really? Mm -hmm. If they're good enough to kill someone of her caliber, then perhaps the time has finally come for me to draw my own sword once again. Like this one. I'll do personally. Is that the samurai that smells of sunflowers, dude? Is that Fu's dad? Mm -hmm. You want to know why he doesn't draw his sword? Because there hasn't been an opponent out there that's worthy of him in ages. Damn, he must be really talented then. Was once known as the hand of the gods. The man is a master swordsman. I don't think it's possible that there's anyone in this world who is more capable of killing him. Yo. That's crazy, a master swordsman. No one has beaten him. Hey, how much longer till we get to Nagasaki? Each the island is just north of Nagasaki. After we pass the mountain, we should be right in sight of it. That figures. So we made it. It almost doesn't seem real. There were times when I thought we'd never get here. But we actually did. And right now the journey's come to an end. Oh my god. Years. It doesn't mean we're gonna find your smelly samurai. Well, yeah. Doesn't it seem strange? What? Well, the fact that we've been traveling together this whole time, but we don't really know anything about each other. Like who we each were before we all hooked up, you know? Huh? Oh, that's true. They don't really know each other's past. It's time to come clean. Why don't we go around and tell one thing that we've each kept secret about our past? Oh, I'm really interested. I want to hear. Get a chance to tell each other these things again. Oh, what's up with her? She's sentimental. She's what kind of mental? It's <laughs> She's what kind of mental? <laughs> you hear me? Mugen, you're first. Me? <laughs> yeah, I got into this nasty ass fight when I was on the road once. I ended up having to totally waste some weird old geezer. Weird? How was he weird? He turned to me and said, Can you not see this box with the Shogun's crest? So I said, No, I can't. And I killed a crazy old dude cold. <laughs> really? Okay, Dean, you're next. Go. I had been traveling for quite some time. My parents both passed away when I was still young. Oh, the dude, poor, poor Jean. The dojo was left to care for me. I had nothing. Oh, so the dojo raised him. Okay. I did nothing but train in Kenjutsu day in and day out from that point on. I got used to being alone. And soon, none of the other children were any match for me. Your strength was unbridled and relentless. Eventually, I was forced to bear the shame of killing my master and was driven from the dojo. Yeah. I've spent every single day since then on the road, traveling in search of something. But why did he do it still? But having no real idea of what that something is, perhaps the only thing I've ever done is run away. No wonder why Gene is so talented. He trained literally his entire life, his Here's youth and everything. 
My mother and I had lived by ourselves for as far back as I can remember. Okay. I grew up believing that my father had died when I was very young. She said she knew in her heart my father was still alive somewhere. Uh -huh. That he had left her when I was really little to go someplace that he wouldn't stay. And while my mother seemed completely at peace with him, I wasn't. And I wasn't going to forgive her. I swore I'd find him and slug him good for my mom. So Fu's dad basically abandoned them from but a young age. Reason, I could... Then I met you two at the tea house. And that's when it hit me. I had this feeling that if I were to join up with you two, I might just be able to pull it off. Thanks, guys. Thanks a lot for sticking with me. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. The music is beautiful, too. Oh, Fu's by the river. Is she crying? There's something wrong. I'm fine. Tell me. Huh? After you find the Sunflower Samurai, what do you intend to do? I, um... That's a good question. Yeah. I should probably think about that. Oh, foo. That makes me really sad. Who the hell is this guy? Trackers? I want to kill him. I want to kill him so bad! Oh my god. Just wait a little longer. You there. Have you any idea who might have set this campfire yesterday? I got no clue. We don't like outsiders around here. Get lost. Hey, you just pretend like you never saw He's got a already. scythe. Perhaps I should help, just in case he forgets. Okay, what's he about to do? I'm gonna chuck at him, dude? Oh, it's a chain. Yo, he just beheaded him. Damn, dude. Jesus. That dude was just walking by. He didn't have any business with, to do with them. Jeez. Look at that. They're hungry. <laughs> it looks like this area has picked up European eating habits. Am I just whack? Or is this stuff raw? Uh, you're supposed to soak it in the hot water first. Now, hold on. People can get weird when they're sharing one pot dishes. I think we should lay down some ground rules. We take turns. Meat, vegetables, meat, vegetables, like that, so no one feels they're being slighted. Will you guys wait? Don't start eating without me. <laughs> they don't care. They're like, we're Listen, grubbing. All you're eating is the meat. Yo, get out of my space, you pot freak. You've got to follow the... Uh, Jean, all you're eating is the meat, too. <laughs> you can shove your damn rules. They say we don't care about the vegetables. The one. Oh, it looks so God. good, actually. Oh, <laughs> I like how they're battling with chopsticks. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, look, there's a boat. Oh, I forgot to buy some souvenirs. Huh? She wants souvenirs, really. Cakes. Would you guys go get them for me, please? Do it yourself. Relax, I got all the cash you need right here. So quit your grumbling and get going. Thanks. I'll take care of Handle on the boat fare while you're gone. Man, she just keeps getting weirder. Be right there. Oh, it's the guys that are chasing them. That dude with the scythe is insane. You had a criminal from the Ryukis who goes by the name of Mugen pass through here, didn't you? You're trying to hide him. I don't really care. Jeez, However, dude. One of my men out there wants to kill him so badly he can taste it. And you know, when he gets like this, <laughs> keeping him under control is very difficult. Oh my god. Hold on a minute. Please. Please stop. I was about to say, he's not even doing anything. Jeez. He's just a shopkeeper. Uh, I don't know if this is who you're looking for or not, but some guy came through here earlier with a strange sword, and he said he was going to eclipse the island. 
You're gonna forget you ever saw us come in here, all right? <laughs> Don't tell a soul, darling. I, I understand. I won't tell anyone. Well, at least he spared him. He didn't kill him. Now that's not nice. You told her you shouldn't go telling anyone now, didn't we? Oh, fuck. He's gonna die. Jeez. See how much she got in her bag. All right, we're about to cast off. Okay, I'll be right there. Oh, it's her dad. It's him. Oh, he doesn't even oh recognize her. God. Excuse me, but is your name Eva Kazumi by chance? Oh, you know, forget I said that. I was wrong. I guess I. Oh my God, that's really him. Someone else. Sorry. She's going on the boat by herself. Oh wow. I think he knows. That thing? It's from Fu. It's been too hard to say goodbye, so I'm going the rest of the way alone. Oh, are you serious? She's going by herself? Are you fucking kidding me? Enjoy the talk we had around the campfire last night. Oh my god, I don't want Fu by herself. Come on. could go on forever. When I thought of the three of us splitting up, I started to panic. Maybe I've been relying on you guys too much this whole time. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to make it on my own once this journey was over. And I decided that I needed to make this last leg of the trip alone. Just one last thing. I know you said you'd put off the duel until our journey was over. But I really don't want you two to kill each other. The souvenir Castella cakes are a farewell gift from me. Aww. Take some time, eat the cakes, and try to reconsider the duel. <laughs> reconsider the duel? Oh my god. I hope we meet again someday. You serious? It's a statue that's broken. Looks like all those sunflowers in the background are wilted. Oh, she's having flashbacks. Oh wow, look at the village. I'm looking for someone. Maybe you've heard of him. His name is Seizo Kasumi. I was told that he was on this island. Oh man, she doesn't even know that he's back on the uh, on the mainland. Someone, that's all. And if those Christians hadn't come here, then they might not have come and burned down our homes with our family still in sight. Oh, dang. So they hate that guy. They hate Fu's dad. I forgot he was a Christian. That makes sense. <laughs> Fu helped that little kid. Oh. Are you related? My father. Is... Wow, they they just avoid any contact with, about him. On the North Cape, there's a house alone by itself. Go there and look for him. There's not much time. Not much time? What does she mean? It's so odd. Oh, shit. Only hope rise to the emotion we call despair Thankfully, oh my god it's possible for a man to try to live without hope so i guess that leaves man no choice but to walk around with despair as his companion huh what the hell do you want they don't even know for kasumi's daughter do you know him do you know seizo kasumi i know he's a felon who abandoned his country and had his soul stolen by that foreign religion I've heard hmm. that he fled here to Kyushu and that he was involved Why is he talking to them though? Rebellion. He's the man who the shogunate wants eliminated more than anyone else, known all along that his daughter was trying to find him. In fact, it's helped them. They've let her run free this whole time, so they're able to discover Kasumi's whereabouts. 
And now, although it pains me to say this, I have to insist that you two die right here. Oh my Take god. By yourself? You sure got a big pair on you, pal. Yo, it's about to go fucking down. Hope that you don't disappoint me. And who's really separated from them, man? Who's this guy in the wheelchair, too? Why in such a rush, little girl? Oh no, it's the dudes. It's the trackers. Oh no, she's by herself. I want what are you talking about? I'm saying you're standing in your grave. Yo, they're gonna attack her. Oh no, man. Oh my god. Oh no. Shit's going down right now. Fuck. I'm gonna watch the episode like immediately right after. They really pulled up, so I'm guessing the ones that are tracking Fu are not with uh her father it sounds like they don't like her father so that's why they're going after her damn that's crazy and Mugen and Jean have the samurai in front of him the the, the sunflower samurai which is Fu's dad man and he, he said they're gonna die right there oh shit dude next episode's gonna go fucking crazy oh my god dude I'm so mad that Fu went by herself too like she put herself like she made herself vulnerable I don't fuck dude it's crazy. I can't believe they're all separated right now. They're all in danger. Fuck. Alrighty, guys. I'm gonna move on to this to the next episode because this shit was crazy. I I I, I don't know what to say because it, it's literally everything went downhill real quick. Like we thought we were just gonna see the samurai. No, he. We got fucking Mugen and Jean are the ones that are by themselves with him, and he literally hasn't lost the battle, so he's like fucking strong as shit. And then fucking Fu decides to go by herself. And now she's stuck with the dudes that were tracking them down. And it's crazy. I got to see the next episode. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please do uh, hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Comment down below if you're enjoying the Samurai Champloo series on the channel. Or if you got any other suggestions. And as always, guys, take care and peace.